Well, hello there, my YouTube family. It is me here doing a video. Um, it is a uh, Friday garden tour week, so without further ado, let me get this going for y'all. Right here at the milkweed. One didn't make it, but the four, this other four are doing super well. I've been giving them nothing but rainwater and making sure they get more sunlight. I think that's why they're finally starting to grow for me. You live and learn. You don't give up. You just keep on going. So I probably won't even have to buy the plants. Yay. Next season. Because I'm going to over, because I have over, over winter milkweed in the house before. So that's probably what I'll do with these guys is I believe these are the tropical milkweed. They're not like the common ones. So anyway, there's a jade plant right there, which is doing really well. I wanted a J plant. I finally picked up the right one at Aldi. Succulent right there is doing really good. <clears throat> Venus fly traps are doing really well. Keep in mind if you guys keep these, they only they only like rainwater or distal water if you can't access to rainwater. But those are the only two waters they can have. So super stoked about those. Now those I will overwinter outside because I because I know where they come from, from the Carolinas. That's how they live, so. And every time I bring them inside, it don't work, so. We're gonna definitely try to do a outside of a winter this time for those guys. Okay, down here I planted some more fall crops. Like these are my lettuce, which ain't came up yet. Then again, I just like planted these a couple of days ago. Cilantro's doing really well. It's coming up nicely. And we've been having perfect weather, too. I'm kind of worried, though, because I think, like, next week we're supposed to get back in the hundreds. If it gets too hot, I guess the least I could do is bring the herbs inside and keep them by the windowsill so they don't boat. Dill. I believe that's dill. Yeah, dill. And then mixed parsley. So that's far that's that's what's coming up in the fall crops and then i got that from my wasp friend i ain't big on wasps i'm really not but this particular wasp just comes drinks water and going by its business so i decided to get back to nature and let it drink have its water i used to have my bamboo plant in there which in the future i will be getting a new one Over here is my mum plant, which is doing okay. They usually get a good bloom in the fall, so we will definitely see how that works out. But it's been doing good all summer, so I'm happy about that. Right here is my one of my pepper plants, which are growing super well. I'm going to even put on two. It'd be nice if I get some flowers and blooms, but we'll see. We're in August. I mean, we don't get our first frost till October, so it's possible. Then the sturgeon, the only one that's still doing good is right there. No flowers yet, but the plant's still growing. There's some type of wildflower. That one is hanging in there. Right here is my um, radishes, which are doing really good. They're coming up nicely. Like I said, I'm worrying about the heat that's coming, but hey, we'll work with it. But yeah, they're coming up really nicely. Right here is a carrot, y'all. Look at that. I definitely decided to plant carrots in bags because I did hurt. They do not do good transplanting. So, yeah. I didn't want to take a chance of doing no transplanting on those. So, those are all carrots, which are growing really nicely as well. Both of those are my fall crops. Right here is, um, what do you call those? Swiss chard. I just planted those too, so nothing's come up yet. I just planted those a couple of days ago when I planted the, um, gosh, the lettuce. But then I got this plant right here. It's still doing really good. The volunteer is too. <clears throat> I seen somebody, I seen this plant in somebody's yard. It's really cool. And this, finally, they, I know what the name of this plant is because I've been watching Brenda's Land's um, YouTube channel. There, This is actually some type of spider plant. And look at the baby spider. 
growing in right there. So I am super stoked. I actually had to replant this because I found a cunt worm up there eating on my um, leaves. And I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like a whole bunch in there. So I unplotted it and repotted it. So it's doing really good. It's, it still got me a baby. I'm going to let the baby hang because I was watching Brenda's Land um, Garden Tours in. That's how she does it, and she the one gave me this plant, so check her out. She does gardens, crocheting, live streams. If you like that type of stuff, you're going to love her. This right here is really gone crazy. My pothos plant. Wow, oh, a fly. Give you to my jumping spider. Anyway, um, yeah, this is doing good. I'm going to have to cut some pieces off and give them away locally, like I did my other plants and they were growing too big. But yeah, my pothos plant is really going crazy. Or I don't know, I could put them in my fish tank too. So I got that option as well. Okay, over here I did a video on this the other day, which is all my cactuses that I put in here. Like a whole cactus tray now, which I'm super, super excited about. Okay, I'm going to move you guys up here really quick. Um... I had to trim this plant down because, see this right there? I had to, I had to, like, I had to repot this plant because I really thought that there was a bunch of, like, of those, these inside there, which actually it wasn't. I found out what it was. It's actually a, um, a wasp larvae. And I just noticed that they got a big old nest up there. I don't know if y'all can see that really good, but yeah. And the baby's been falling in here because I noticed that I've been seeing a lot of ants around here. And my theory is the ants go up there and attack them. I mean, I guess they fall down and they fall in here. And um, yeah, that's what we got. That little larvae critter right there. I'd, like I said, I thought they were inside of dirt. So I had to just jump this whole plant down and repotted it. But then... Find out later they were coming from up there because they fall when the ants go up there and like this one right there that's crawling. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, the ants go up there and be attacking the nest, so they fall down here and fall in here. So it had nothing to do with it, so I didn't even have to do all that, but hopefully we'll get a nice grow back on that plant. Sometimes when you cut it down, they do seem to grow fast anyway, so uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, cactus plant, whatever. I know a lot of people call it Christmas. I think I call my Thanksgiving just because it seems to bloom Thanksgiving time. But it looks like it's trying to bloom right now, too. So we could go back to saying Christmas, cactus, I guess. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's growing. I gave a whole bunch of that away because I had so much. But now it grew back nicely. And we might get some blooms before Thanksgiving. Right there is my, oh yeah, Brenda, this is, if you watch this, this is, these are angel exotic plants. I know you were asking me about what the name of these was. That's what these are called. Because one of these you have given me and the other one I've grown myself. There, but yeah, there is some type of angel exotic plant. So, there you go. Down here, I got pepper plants, which are doing, which are growing, which are, they're growing nicely. Catnip right there. I'm not really worried about it because my cats don't. I mean, Rocky had used it one time, but never, no more after that. My um, other pepper plant, that are growing. Then pepper plant right there. They're getting so tall, I just decided to put the whole bags up now. We got some pretty nice weather, so things are coming along nicely. Like I said, I think next week you're supposed to get back into the hundreds, so we'll see. Right here is broccoli and kale that I got planted. And I know all that is broccoli because I planted broccoli way before I planted to the, way before I planted kale. So, yeah, that's what's coming up right now. This is going to end this garden tour today. I'm so excited. I get the garden for fall. I didn't do too good with summer gardening, but part of that was my fault because I didn't do research. I burned out a lot of my plants. Um... I just made a lot of mistakes that I know not to do next season, God's willing. So anyway, for the meantime, I am going to fo focus on fall gardening. Um, I'm going to get off here. If you like these type of videos, pets and plants, please feel free to give me that like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you ain't already. 
and please hit the notification bell so you get every single video as soon as they come out hit the thumbs up as it does help the channel grow it's us youtubers you know it helps our channels until the next one stay safe stay blessed goodbye